Hi guys, and welcome to our third episode of Cabin Fever here at the Kamloops Museum and Archives. You're here with me, Megan Stewart. I'm the museum educator here at the KMA. Just before we begin today, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge that we are on the traditional and unceded territory of the Shkwetm First Nation. Now today we are going to be doing some neat songs. We're going to be doing some crafts. Um, for the craft today, you will need a piece of string, um, three pieces of paper, and some coloring implements as well as some tape or a stapler. The choice is yours. Now we're going to start today uh, with a song called Down at the Station using our train set, which I know is a favorite toy for many of you guys who like to come to the museum. So this song goes like this. Down at the station early in the morning, see all the puffer trains all in a row. Here comes the driver to start up the engine, puff Puff, toot, toot, puff, we go. Puff, puff, toot, toot, puff, we go. Puff, puff, toot, toot, and off we go. Down at the station early in the morning, see all the puffer trains all in a row. Here comes the driver to start up the engine. Puff, puff, toot, toot, off we go. Puff, puff, toot, toot, off we go. Puff, puff, toot, toot, and off we go. Down at the station early in the morning, see all the puffer trains all in a row. Here comes the driver to start up the engine. Puff, puff, toot, toot, off we go. Puff, puff, toot, toot, off we go. Puff, puff, toot, toot, and off we go. All right, guys, now I'm going to take just a quick moment to clean up our train track and get ready for our next song. All right, guys, so our next song that we're going to do is probably familiar to most of you. If you guys have gone to any children's programming in the Kamloops area, you probably know this one. It's called Roly Poly. It's one of my favorites. It's one of our kids' favorites. So we're going to start with our hands and fists, and it goes like this. Roly Poly, Roly Poly, up, 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 up. Rolly, rolly, pulley, rolly, rolly, pulley, down, 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 down. Rolly, pulley, rolly, pulley, out, 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 out. Rolly, rolly, pulley, rolly, rolly, pulley, in, 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 in. Rolly, pulley, rolly, pulley. Rolly, rolly, poly, rolly, rolly, poly, loud, 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 loud. Rolly, poly, rolly, poly, fast, 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 fast. Rolly, rolly, poly, rolly, rolly, poly, slow, 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 slow. All right, guys, we are going to move on now to our story for today. Also probably familiar to many of you guys, the story that we are going to be doing today is The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. Some of you who enjoyed our first episode with Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? might also know some of Eric Carl's other stories. So this story goes like this. One night, by the light of the moon, a little white egg lay upon a leaf. And one Sunday morning, the hot sun came up and pop out of the egg came 
a very small but very hungry caterpillar. He set out to look for something to eat. On Monday, he ate one nice red apple. On Tuesday, he ate through two bright green pears. On Wednesday, he ate through three purple plums. One, two, three. On Thursday, he ate through four bright red strawberries. One, two, three, four. And on Friday, he ate through five big juicy oranges. One, two, three, four, five. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one slice of Swiss cheese, a sausage, a lollipop, a slice of salami, oops, a cupcake, an ice cream cone, a pickle, and a slice of watermelon. That night, he had a tummy ache. But the next day was Sunday, and he ate one nice green leaf and felt much better. Now, the very hungry caterpillar wasn't very hungry anymore, and he wasn't such a little caterpillar anymore either. He was a big, fat caterpillar. So he built himself a house called a cocoon, and he went inside for more than two weeks. And when the cocoon popped open, out came a beautiful butterfly. And that is the story of The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. Now we are going to do another song. This song is called Five Little Ducks. And it goes like this. Five little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mama duck said quack, 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 but only four little duckies came back. Four little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mama duck said quack, 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 but only three little duckies came back. Three little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mama duck said quack, 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 but only two little duckies came back. Two little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mama duck said quack, 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 only one little ducky came back. One little duck went out one day over the hill and far away. Mama duck said quack, quack, quack. None of the little duckies came back. Mama duck said quack, quack, quack. And all five little duckies came back. Great job. All right, you guys. Now, some of you guys might have seen all around the neighborhoods here in Kamloops and other communities in British Columbia that there are hearts put up in windows. And those hearts are aimed at thanking our nurses and our first responders, our frontline workers who are really working to deal with things while we are stuck at home experiencing some cabin fever. So today we thought we would make some heart mobiles. You can hang them in your window, you can hang them out on your front porch, um, just as a way to say thank you because today is in fact Nurses Day. So we will be honoring nurses with our program today. So the mobiles we're gonna make, um, you can see here I've started mine. I've got two hearts already made on here. Um, I would suggest probably doing about three, but it's up to you. You can make one heart, you can make just a single tiered heart and put it in the window. It's totally up to you. Um, now for this, you can see I've used uh, some yarn. You can use any kind of string you have around the house. Worst comes to worst, you can always use tape. I know um, if you guys have watched some of our cooking under quarantine videos, you know that we're just kind of using what we have around the house. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with this. Now, as far as tape goes, um, I found packing tape to be the easiest when I was doing this. 
Um, you can just cut it lengthwise into nice strips and then as long as you need it to be to fasten the bottoms of your heart. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut myself a nice big piece so that I have some strips to start with. So I'm gonna cut it just like this. I'm gonna stick it on to my desk here and then I'm gonna just cut it lengthwise. So right along here. So it should be just a little bit wider than a uh, regular tape that you might use for this. And then we can just cut that into strips from here. You are going to want your strips to be quite long. Um, I found one of the issues I had when I was first making this is that if you don't make your strips long enough, it can be very difficult to fasten the bottoms of your hearts together. Now, if you have little helpers who are helping you out with this, um, or little helpers, if you have some enterprising grown-ups helping you out with this, um, you're going to want to take your pieces of paper, you're going to want to decorate them the best way you know how. Um, you can see here I've chosen to do mine with little hearts with some glitter glue, but it is totally up to you, whatever you want to use. Um, once you have your strips of paper all decorated, we are going to need three different colors for this. So I'm going to use some yellow, some purple, and some blue. We're going to cut them into nice long strips, so lengthwise down your paper. Um, you probably want your strips to be about an inch wide, give or take. So we'll cut out some nice strips together. There we go. All right, guys, so now you should have three strips of paper um, in each color for each side of your heart, so six strips in total. Now, you're going to have to decide which color you want to be in the center of your heart. For me, it's going to be blue today, but choice is yours. Now, you're going to decide roughly how far apart you want your hearts to be. I've been leaving quite a bit of space between them. I think they'll look pretty when they twirl in the wind. Um, so you're going to take the two, the innermost piece of your heart, and you're going to cut off probably about two inches off of this piece of paper. So chop off the bottom there. This is to make sure that your middle heart is small and um, doesn't impede your bigger hearts on the outside. So you're going to grab the two bottom pieces of your heart. You're going to stick them together just like this. So creating sort of a V shape with your pieces of paper with the string in the middle. And this is what's going to keep your hearts on the string. So try to be sure that you leave um, lots of string on there. All right. And then you're going to take one of those lovely strips of tape that you cut and you're going to just wrap it around the bottom of your heart. So all the way around. Um, should seal the string in really, really well. Keep it nice and tight. There we go. Perfect. Now it is up to you when you're all finished if you want to go back and um, trim down some of the tape that might be sticking out. It's totally your choice. Now for the top of your heart, you're going to just take each piece and bend it inwards. So just like this um, to create that heart shape. Same thing, creating that V around the string. And then you're going to do the exact same thing. So you're going to take that piece of tape and you're just going to go ahead and wrap it around the inside part of your heart. Now, if you have any smaller pieces of tape, um, maybe you cut them a little bit small like I accidentally did, just try to make sure you use them for the inside of the heart because the bottom is what really matters for holding the string in place. So we'll do that one up as well. Now, as for my second color, I'm going to be using purple today. And don't worry about it too much. If you don't have any uh, colored paper at home, feel free to just design your own. Color it and get creative that way as well. Now, for this one, you're going to cut off probably about one inch. So a little bit less than you did for the inside heart, um, but still a little bit um, less than you're going to use for your outside heart. So you're going to cut off about an inch. You should have two nice strips of paper there. And we're going to do the exact same thing. So again, making that V, um, this time going to be right over top of the bottom of the heart you've already made. So making that V shape, got the string in between, and your little uh, center heart should be on the inside of this one. And then you're going to take your piece of tape and wrap it around the bottom. All right. And then it's going to be the same thing. So you're going to want to make sure you kind of pull your string up a little bit um, as you're doing this. So the bottom of the heart connects to your little inside heart, but the one up at the top will not. It's going to hang on to the string all by itself. So just like this, you can see I've got my string in the center. 
um, and my heart piece is coming together here as well. If you find your heart is looking a little bit uh, wonky, feel free to give the string a tug um, and that will help shape it and give it a little bit more roundness to the top. And then same thing, you're gonna go ahead and use that piece of tape um, right around the top, holding that string in place. There we go. All right, and last but not least, I'm gonna be using the uh, pieces of paper that I really colored and put those hearts on to make it sparkly. Um, and this one, you're not gonna cut anything off of. So this should be your third color that we're working with now. And we're gonna do the exact same thing. So we're gonna make that V shape again with our heart in the center. Um, and this time, try to just push them up so that they're all even at the bottom. And then take that piece of tape, wrap it around. And like I say, um, these do tend to get a little bit tapey, especially if you haven't quite cut your uh, pieces of tape quite straight. So do feel free to trim those off afterwards as well. And then same thing, we're gonna make sure we wrap this into our piece of string. So putting the string in the center of our two pieces here as we make our final heart. Um, and you can do as many or as few on this mobile as you want. It is totally up to you. And then taking that last piece of tape and just wrapping it around the center part of that heart. There you go. So we have our three hearts here, um, and then we've got three hearts on our mobile here. Um, and if you hang this out on the porch, of course, it will twirl in the wind. It will catch the wind. Um, and it's just a really nice way to say thank you um, to the people who are working so hard to keep us safe during this difficult time. All right, so I'm going to put this just back here behind me. And we are going to finish out with one last song today. I am quite sure most of you guys know this one already. It is called London Bridge is Falling Down. You may or may not know that London Bridge is an actual real bridge in London, England. And it has, in fact, fallen down many, many times. Believe it or not, um, between 1200 and 1500, there was a period where they actually built houses on London Bridge, including some shops that reached up to seven stories high. So you can imagine all that weight on a poorly constructed bridge did lead to it falling down many times. So the song goes like this. Um, in case you don't know, there is also a great game that you can play with kids. If you have another adult with you, you hold your arms out and as you sing, London Bridge starts to fall. Whoever's under the bridge when you finish the song gets caught. Um, and it's a great way to keep the kids entertained. So here we go. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Build it up with sticks and stones, sticks and stones, sticks and stones. Build it up with sticks and stones, my fair lady. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Build it up with sticks and stones, sticks and stones, sticks and stones. Build it up with sticks and stones, my fair lady. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Cabin Fever, guys. See you next time.